So it's 9.50 a.m. Tuesday, 13th June, 2017. Uh, I always forget 2017. I always forget 2017. Oh, yeah. Hmm. My face wonky. Hmm. I felt like it was a bit wonky before. <coughs> Oh, my diet uh, yesterday was not good, but uh, it's a stupid coffee. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on my diet. Yes, my diet is not. Uh, I'm not on top of my diet. I'm not on top of my diet. <coughs> So I get ready to do the stupid lighting. Uh, I have to get this thing off. Get these plug things sorted out. Oh, this is a movie I got. It's called um, The Baba Duke or something. I think it's an Australian film. Uh, it's very scary. <laughs> I get all these. I get all these films, but I'm just so scared to watch them. <laughs> I don't want to get scared. <clears throat> oh, I'll try and fix the lighting uh, soon enough. Uh, it's just lighting. Yeah. I couldn't go to sleep yesterday. I was uh, just so stressed out. I've been trying to do some voice practice for the past few days, but I haven't really, really started. I just do a bit of reading and, you know, slowly doing it. I haven't really sort of set myself, okay, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. Let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. My next electrolysis is on uh, July the 3rd. July the 3rd. I may have to do work for the doll. <gasps> well, you know, you work, you eat. <laughs> I think that's fair. You work, you eat. If you want to eat, you got to work. It seems like a fair exchange. I was thinking about this whole um, metaphor for the economy. Like, it's like a pie, right? It's like, a, think of the economy as a pie. And, um, you know, the people who, in order to make the pie, the, the, the pie is what we all want. The pie is made up of food, clothing, shelter, all of that stuff. The stuff that we need. Uh, you know, all different kinds of food. And, and the people are the ones who are making the pie. So you got all the workers making the pie. And then, <clears throat> and so, uh, when we make the pie, we take pieces of the pie and give it to the people who, who deserve it. <laughs> so that's the reward for working, is you, you get the pie. Usually we get money, but money is basically used to exchange for things that we need. That's what it is. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> now think about the, the unemployed people and the mentally ill or disabled people. Where do they belong? So it's like, <clears throat> Okay, some, if someone is disabled or they can't work, they, they try and do what they can to help with the making of the pie. And I imagine all these people are like, you know, like some of them are like not, not really doing a lot and some of them are really doing a lot. 
So I, I feel like that's how the economy should be. Like we all, we, we all make the pie. And, and if there's, there are people who can't do the work, okay, fine. They, you know, so they, they, they can be around, they can they do whatever, whatever they can to help. <clears throat> so everyone can, doesn't, you know, can do different things. Uh, but, you know, we all get to share in the pie. You know, the pie is the... the benefit, the, the productive output of all of that work. Uh, I think I finished. So I was just thinking about, I was thinking, like, maybe I want to do a drawing of this pie, because I have this, you know how, like, when you look at drawings, the, all, all these intricate details about different people and the different things in the pie. And, uh, so I was like, I want to make this. I got about two or nine, and I really didn't do my. I just like, I didn't look at look at my hairs. But, um, yeah. So yes, the pie. I feel like you know. I feel like my you know like my well, my hips are coming up and. Sometimes in the morning when I look at myself, I'm like, oh, why is, why is like, you know, I'm not wearing any bras. So I was like, eh, eh. So, you know, today they're looking, on the side, my breasts look okay, but from the front, they're like, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> but I'm happy, I'm happy. And, um, <clears throat> so, you know, I feel like my body's, you know, I, I shoulder, I'm still a bit self-conscious about it, but I feel like my body's coming good. So, I just want to lose some, some weight and things. That's my goal. I don't know. Like, what am I doing? I feel like <laughs> oh, future. What do I do? Uh, I feel like um, yeah. Feel very self-conscious. <laughs> feel very self-conscious. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, the pie metaphor. Well, I mean, it's kind of like a good way of... So that's, that's, I guess that's the first time I actually understood the economy. Like, oh, this is what the economy is. It's basically a pie. And people are trying to make the pie, and they, get, they take pieces of the pie, and then they can use it. The things we... The pie contains value, and what is valuable is food, clothing, shelter, and all the other stuff. But essentially food, clothing, shelter is the most valuable thing in the pie and uh, so that's what the economy is it's um, like a pie and, uh, and, 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 and thinking of it that way really made sense to me oh this is what this is what's going on uh, you know ah 959 where are my future I feel I feel like I feel like I should I should be alone because I I feel like um it's like it's like I want to get my affairs in order, pay my debts to society, my loans and all that, and then I, I don't know I just feel like it's like it's like when you I feel like. I could die at any moment, and um, I don't want to feel obligated to anyone. You know, I just feel like I want to just, you know, if I dis if I disappear today on the face of the earth, you know, uh, I don't want anyone to miss me or recognize I'm gone. I feel like I, I don't I don't want the responsibility or the, the emotional difficulty of having to leave people <laughs> it's like I don't want to be attached to people because I feel like I am not going to you know that sense of mortality like you could just die any moment or something bad could happen and instead of dealing with the pain of the loss and the grief like if you don't have any attachments it's like 
it's like you don't have to worry about those kinds of things. You don't have to worry about other people. You can you can just focus on yourself and you know. And then if you die, it's, it's your thing. You you deal with it. You know. You know. It's like I guess that's one of the benefits of uh, not having too many. Well, basically, not other than my you know, not having too many attachments in life. Or, you know, people or whatever is um. Yeah, you don't have to feel. You know, you don't have to worry. Oh, you're, you can just uh, you just focus on your life and live your life, and you know, there's a freedom that comes from being alone. There is a freedom. You know, that's why these MGTOW guys, you know, not MGTOW, but you know, there are lots of people who who live like MGTOWs, even though they don't call themselves MGTOWs. I mean, that's MGTOW is just a name, but the people have lived like this, where they've lived their life, and um, you know, not having too many attachments because I don't know. It's just there's. I've lived most of my life by myself, and I I know the kind of I guess I, I never I recognized how much freedom I had, because I really didn't have friends or whatever. <clears throat> so I took I took my freedom for granted. But uh, there is a freedom there. And freedom not to worry. Freedom just to be <laughs> yourself. <sighs> anyway, so it's ten o two a.m. I gotta leave now. Uh, actually, I gotta leave at ten ten. Uh, 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 anyway. My room's a mess. <gasps> so this is what I'm wearing. Hey, this is what I'm wearing. Anyway, it's just. It's, let me. I tend to make my shoulders as big as I can. Yeah, food. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna go in. <gasps> oh, I'm looking. Oh. Alright, so I'll be uh, applying for the jobs. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Alright. So I finished the um, job search thing and blah blah blah. <sighs> so I'm gonna go home and uh, eat my breakfast and uh, yeah. That's it. So, what a voicemail from the place I went to the interview last week. She said, well, the app, you know, was unsuccessful, but she did send an email to the, uh, to that solicitor friend of hers or someone to get, you know, volunteering opportunity. And uh, yeah, so she uh... oh, so good. So she uh, you know let me know. That's very nice. Just uh, to, to actually call you and tell you, <laughs> it's a very professional thing to do. It's a very uh, treating you as a person, you know, and not as a number. To actually personally call you and tell you that the application is unsuccessful. That, that's very uh, admirable. It's, it's very admirable to do that. Because people don't even send you an email saying your application is unsuccessful. Anyway, so um, Yeah, I'll just... Yeah, no. <laughs> Gotta go home now. Actually, I, heard, I, I noticed the phone ringing when I was at the job center, but I just let it ring. I didn't want to answer it. Yeah, alright.